All right, hello. I've been in the mood to kind of just do some one-offs, check out some of those games that I have access to that I haven't looked at yet. Uh, we are going to finish Alan Wake. I don't think I'm going to finish Strangeland. Um, I think I mentioned in our last video, I've had some health stuff going on and I was very nauseous for quite a while. And uh, Strangeland, I was playing when I was feeling unwell and now I can't even look at it without feeling sick, which is just, you know, unfortunate. But we're going to speed date some ghosts. I am all for it. You must be here for speed dating. My name's Fran. I don't know if I'm going to read everything out loud. We'll see. I run this little operation. So what's the deal? Straight to it, huh? We get all kinds of ghosts here. Nice ones, sad ones, a few spooky customers. It gets lonely being a ghost. I, uh, yeah. It has been pretty difficult. It has? Wonderful. <laughs> then let's get started. I felt like saying I like being alone when against the premise of the game. We've got three rooms set up, each with their own super fun theme. You pick one and sit at a table. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it though? Another ghost who also signed up sits across from you. You'll have a few minutes to get to know them. Then a bell rings and you switch seats bell rings from somewhere. Just like that. In all, you'll meet three ghosts over two rounds, and at the end, you get to choose your favorite. If they liked you too, you go on a date. How's all that sound? I can't wait. I don't date anymore, right? I'm married, but uh, dating was fun. Neither can I. First things first, though. That's our little save symbol, in case you get confused. All right. I'm intrigued by the Room of Liars and the Room of Black. We're gonna go with the Room of Liars. The Room of Liars looks a bit like a conference hall. The kind you might see in an airport hotel. I like this font a lot. There was a meeting of regional managers here yesterday, followed by some couple's 65th anniversary in the evening. An old couple. They left a few balloons behind. Worn plush stacking chairs are set on either side of lacquered oak tables. In one corner there are wine glasses and a metal pitcher of water, alongside a stainless steel urn for coffee. Ghosts don't need coffee. One particularly nervous ghost is holding a cup anyway. Some habits never die. That's cute. I like my little pointer finger skeleton. The bell rings and a ghost appears. Oh no, he's so worried. Ah, a ghost. Oh God, sorry. Of course you're a ghost, we all are. I'm still not used to this whole being dead thing. I'm not that scary. No, no, you're not. Sorry, it looked like it was really emphasizing the no. But you're still a ghost. When I was alive, I was so scared of ghosts. It started when I was little. A movie I saw. I pushed my bed against the wall. I told my mom it was so I wouldn't fall out. I couldn't sleep unless my back was against that wall. Why were you scared? I'd picture the worst ghosts. Devils, dark entities, hateful things floating in the dark, hiding in mirrors. Standing behind me. And now? Now I learn they were here? Everyone who told me that there was nothing to be afraid of. They were wrong. Ghosts are real. And I am one. Uh, I'm gonna say it's not so bad. For you, maybe. I'd rather not become what I fear. Just like, I'm not very interested in this one. He's cute, but... You can be anything you want. Anxiety. I'm a spirit of anxiety. Maybe that's why I don't want to go out with you. I might want to be anything else, but that's what I am. What about you? Are you afraid of ghosts? Not anymore. What changed? I became one? Life feels weird now. That works. I 
guess with some distance, being a ghost is normal. And it's life that's weird. I'm sure not there yet. Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> the bell rings. Oh, that was just the bell. <laughs> Thank you for listening. I guess we'll talk more in a bit. Hopefully other ghosts are as nice as you. I'm glad you found me nice. I found you very boring. We're not dating. Anxiety ghost. However, this guy has some stories to tell. Well, look what we have here. The ghost's voice creaks like ancient wood. I'm not even going to try that, okay? Just imagine it. The name's Spooky Peter. Tips his hat. Dust spills off the brim. How do you do? I do okay. I'd wager otherwise. Like maybe you're scared. Like maybe you've seen a ghost. Spooky Peter laughs. I like Spooky Peter. Or coughs. It's hard to tell. You are uh, definitely are spooky. Thank you for saying so. I've been doing this a while. My record of hauntings goes back long as the door. Since the Black Death took me in 65. I feel like I'm gonna appear a fool here, but 16, 65? When was the Black Death? Oh yeah, look at me. I celebrated, like threw my hands in the air and nobody saw it. You've seen a lot then. History happened. Wars, revolutions. Mostly I read about those things. Mostly I keep to my own. Spooking, scaring. Gotten pretty good at it. Even been in books. Not always by name, mind you. But you can tell when it's me. The top hat. The fear. All hot and sick. Thought it was hat and sick. Nobody spooks them like Spooky Peter. I try my best. Do you? Yes, I see it. The potential, I mean. I can help with that. Teach me your spooky ways. Now, now. Spooky Peter doesn't just teach anybody. A rock has potential. Before you throw it through a window. What makes you any better? Um, I want to turn milk into worms. That's fucked up. Gross or fair, eh? I suppose I can see that working. Especially if they're drinking the milk when it happens. Oh my god, oh, oh. Worms is a leap, though. Maggots will blend in a little better. Oh, oh. People are spooked by the unexpected. Messing with something familiar like that. Pretty spooky for sure. No way are they going to their milk again. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Spooky Peter laughs. Or coughs? Or coughs. It's hard to tell. So how's that for a lesson? Useful. Good. There's more where that came from. A legendary spookin' is what you're after? And Spooky Peter's gonna take you under his wing? So to speak. You'll need a solid foundation. It's all about knowing your audience. A good spookin' is in the details. The bell rings. The bell. It means we move on. Guess I'll be seeing ya when I come back around. Bye, Spooky Peter. I liked him. <laughs> a thick layer of dust now covers the table. I want to hear about his spookins. Oh my god, my eyes. Another ghost appears. What in the fuck am I looking at? Want to make some money? <laughs> maybe. What? Maybe? <laughs> it's a yes or a no. Ow, though. <laughs> Not so fast. Let me feel this out first. You can be a narc. <laughs> what is going on? Classic narc line. I'm just fooling. Look at his little smile. No narc would dress like that. Do ghosts even need money? Technically, no. We don't buy things. But money buys something else now. Favors with the breathers. Influence. Information. The living always want the money. The living buy plenty. The name's Leon, by the way. I rob banks. Don't judge. That's fine. Nice to meet you. Don't be making this personal. We rob a bank together. That's it. 
no more contact. At least not for a couple of months. Uh, I don't rob banks. Yeah, I hear ya. Who robs banks? I sure don't. Wink, wink. Stop that. Stop what? Robbing banks. <laughs> Already said I don't rob banks. Oink, oink. I really don't though. <laughs> then don't rob a bank with me. My team needs to be committed. 100% eyes on the prize. You clearly don't have what it takes. You'd probably get us caught. I wouldn't go that far. Ah! Confidence. I like that. In all seriousness. Are you really not interested? I mean, what's more exciting than robbing a bank? As a ghost. Who else can offer that kind of fun? Nobody but Leon. Actually, it sounds like fun. I'd like to know more. If it'll get you on board. I'm an open book. Bye, Leon. I'm waving goodbye and you can't see me. The bell rings. That's time to switch seats. Don't worry. I'll be back. We got more to talk about. I'm guessing there's four to a room. I remember it saying there's 12 options. So, oh, three to a room. The second round begins. Oh, anxiety ghost, hello. The other ghosts. Holy, were they awful. Leon's just a creep. Spooky Peter. That name is earned. Ugh. Also, I think I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Keo. Yeah, I thought you were just an anxiety ghost. <laughs> Sorry. Spooky Peter's been around. I think he actually just does. My rule? Never trust anyone who wears a hat. Stuff he said to me? The hair is behind your neck, know me. It's best to hide in the corner of their eye. He's what I was afraid of as a kid. He said he's been in books. I believe it. The man's almost theatrical. Reminds me of a character actor playing the devil on stage. I totally see it. I'm not a confident person, but I'm rarely wrong. You should stay away from him. Your speed dates are going well then. At best, dating ghosts is frustrating. Everyone asks the same things. How did you die? What was your life like? If we were alive, the questions would be like, what kind of food do you like? What's your favorite movie? Dying doesn't make people more interesting. It's Videodrome, by the way. My favorite movie, I mean. Long live the new flesh. What? <laughs> ha! You know it. Oh, is that from the movie? Is that a real movie? Sometimes I feel like a VCR. Obsolete. Out of date. No new stories to tell. I still have my VCR. I do not still have a VCR. But we had one when I was growing up. Nice. I love meeting fellow fans of dead media. So, wanna hear how I died? Sure. Might as well get it out of the way. I was in film studies, working my way towards a PhD. In debt, always pretty sad. I had good friends though. I was always studying. One weekend they convinced me not to study. There. They said we should go to the lake instead. I couldn't swim. I never learned. You see where this is going? I drowned. Everything went black and quiet. I woke up dead in a fancy wooden box. Under six feet of dirt. I you alive. I was actually dead, don't worry. But I sure didn't know that at first. I didn't know where I was. I fell right through my coffin. Through my own body. Down. 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 Into the bedrock. It was so dark. It sounds awful. It was. I'll never forget the confusion. Oh, my phone's ringing. The helplessness. I don't remember what we're talking about. I seized up. That actually stopped me from falling. When I freaked out, it was like... My whole body became corporeal, not flesh. Just like, you know how if you concentrate, you can still pick up objects? Like that. Except I was the object. And the earth was holding me. So quiet. Stuck in solid rock. How long were you down there? It's hard to say. 
I didn't know much at that point. I didn't even know I died, let alone what was happening. Where I was, drowning wasn't as bad as that. Listen, I'm sorry I've been such a downer. I promise I'm not always like this. I was thinking maybe we could go out sometime, somewhere quieter maybe, with fewer loud bells and spooky Peters. I just need positivity right now. Oh, I understand. That's not something I can give you. At least reliably. Don't worry. I don't want to hang out with me either. Oh my god, now I feel... Oh, why should anyone else? Yikes. I'm gonna go out with Spooky Peter, I think. What a waste of time. Okay, this game now has me feeling bad. It, yeah, I forgot about the bad parts of dating. When people get hurt, my spooky protege returns. What knowledge do you seek, protege? I want to know it all. In time, a truly spooky ghost requires one thing. One thing above all else. Patience. What spooks Spooky Peter? Not much. Though I will say, ain't so fond of beasts. What kind of beasts? The domesticates. Hounds. It's one of my feet. Now. Felines! Oh, I don't know where she is. Scared of cats? Spooky folk like me rely on a certain overtness. I can't just be all clanging about, announcing myself. That's not so spooky. Cats! Sense spooky Peter. They know I'm there. I hide in the closet. They'll scritch and scratch at the door. Start yowling. Even run around in the dark to wake the owners, I wager. It's trouble, let me tell you. A real impediment. He wheezes. I was rattling around in there. Okay. Hey, the rattle, no mind. I died with it. No, oh, okay. I'm gonna like try and dig it out. It stays with me. You ever been to the mirror world? I haven't. The place beyond this. But the same as this. Seen it. But always looking in. But take me to the mirror world. Can't see another lesson. Come on by that edge of things. I'll show you around the other side. Like that. Maybe you think you'll like it. Seeing it's another thing entirely. Some things. Some things spook even Spooky Peter. Something about this red makes me think of like those nano leaf mm -hmm. lights. Uh, you know, you see them in the back. Sometimes streamers have them. We have some, but they're set up in a different room. They're very blinding sometimes. <laughs> Hello again, stranger. Still thinking I'm trouble? Honestly, I think robbing a bank as a ghost would be hilarious. I don't know you well enough yet. This again, huh? I hate talking about myself almost as much as I hate repeating myself. Came here to find some associates for criminal activities, not looking for friends. Might as well hear you both. That's all I ask, but I'm looking for friends. So I found the perfect bank. It's on 4th. A nice, quiet branch. Just a sec, I'll show you. Leon pulls out some graphing paper. <laughs> I drew the layout in pencil. I probably didn't need so much detail. Since we're going in the front door, I just figured it's best to be prepared. Wait, does this mean you're interested? No promises yet. Hey, it's something. So after we get in the bank, oh man, think fast. We are company. Leon frantically puts the graphing paper away. So then I says to the priest, Oh, turn. What are you two talking about over here? Oh, hey, Fran. How's it hanging? We've had complaints, Leon. About my cologne? You know what about. I promise I don't. I'm just looking for love. Just like all the other ghosts. Just like my friend here. Fran stares at Leon, like she'll see the truth in his eyes. His cute little face with his cute little eyes. Fine, but I'm watching you. Both of you. Is 
That was a close one. Thanks for not ratting me out. Oh, I, to be fair, I didn't get a chance, but I wasn't going to. I got a good feeling about this. We're gonna be rich. I don't need the money. The thrill, then. I've been chasing thrills all my life. I stole candy when I was nine. Switched to stealing beer at 14. Stole my first car a year later. I hit up convenience stores, drive-ins, even held up a laundromat once. How? I threw my back out, carrying all those quarters. Why did you steal? More like, why do I steal? Made more sense than other work. Getting robbed by the man. Legally, you know. Now I steal because I can turn invisible. Used to dream of a power like that. Would have kept me out of a lot of jail. I robbed five banks and all when I was alive. Spent the rest of my life behind bars. How'd you die? Prison's a hard place. Especially when no one trusts you. If there's anything I learned from my dishonest life, it's honesty. The bell rings. That's our time. You've heard my pitch. Gotten to know me a little more than I like. So what do you say? Turn them down. Fair enough. You know the plan. You know me. You change your mind. I'll be at this branch at this time. And he slides you a slip of paper. It's been a slice. Choose your date. Spooky Peter! Is he gonna, oh, he's taking me to the mirror world. You arrive for your date with Spooky Peter. Full of mirrors at a roadside carnival. Are we gonna have some like us shit? A clown's face, all smiles and menace watches over the entrance. Are we gonna have strange land shit? Welcome to my home. We're on our first date at your house. Insides are twisted corridors with lined with mirrors. With only a slight reflection. It's especially disorienting to navigate these halls. Spooky Peter leads you to a specific mirror, taller than the others. The mirror's face is concave, as if to pull in everything around it. We are going into this mirror. Alright, let's go. Together you step inside the mirror. Welcome to the mirror world. Or as it's known here, Drawl... Oh, I get it. Drawlorim het. Et. That's the mirror world spelled backwards. <laughs> Did you see the eerie garden? Did you see the eerie garden? That is what happens when an image reflects itself. It takes on an eerie green. Oh, did he say eerie green and not eerie garden? More times a reflection is reflected, the greener it becomes. Just like this. That's pretty green. <laughs> is there a science behind that? There must be. Thank you. Do not be afraid. Nothing here can hurt you. Mirror world. Physical laws are upended. Am I really here? <laughs> or am I over here? Or am I over here? Perhaps it is all of the above. Or even nowhere at all. He's showing off for us. I mean, like, I don't think it's either K or... Oh, this would be nice. That's amazing. I thought you might be impressed. I've practiced these skills for ages. Centuries. It's not easy being green. Now come with me. Spooking hour approacheth. I, I tried to say approacheth. There we go. That's 3 a.m. in case you're wondering. Where are we going? Headed to a brownstone. Walk up I know quite well. Second floor apartment in a house going on a hundred years. A student of the arts named Paul has moved in. He heard the rumors. The house is haunted, they said. He ignored them. The cost was worth the fear. Together you and Spooky Peter fly through the vault, passing countless mirrors in reverse, each peering into a life still being lived. Each mirror in the living world is actually a door. Staring into one long enough in the dark, saying a spirit's name three times, that's like knocking. 
After a short trip through oblivion, you arrive at a particularly decorative mirror. A splendid haunt. Spooky Peter leads you through the mirror glass into a long hall lined with bricks on one side. There are still boxes in the hall. The mirror you step through is propped up against the wall. At the far end is a massive kitchen with original marble tile that does well to hide its age. All is sleeping. Let's get to spookin'. Spooky Peter leads you through the closed bedroom door where a man in his 20s is sound asleep on a mattress. <laughs> He's snoring loudly. Spooky Peter floats to one shadowy corner by the open window and motions for you to do the same. The curtain flaps over Peter's shadowy visage. He stands silently hat bent slightly forward. It's just standing there. Shake the bed. Patience, protege. The aim is to be a presence, not a threat. Spooky Peter stands motionless for several minutes. Wait, no. 40 minutes! 40 minutes of doing nothing but standing there. Finally, he moves away from the corner. Watch, protege. I tighten the knot. Spooky Peter sinks into the hardwood floor. The old wood lets out a loud. Break. Break. As steady as a pulse. Paul is still snoring. <laughs> Peter moves into the ceiling and starts to scratch. Scritch, scritch, scritch. Like raspy breaths. Paul's still snoring. Peter does not look. Yeah, Peter's starting to look annoyed. He floats over to Paul and peeks in his ear. Some sort of orange foam. It obstructs his ear canal, preventing him from hearing us. Again, I am thwarted by the progressive man. Scratch on the wall. You scratch with one nail, long and deep above Paul's head, a long vertical line in the plaster. I'm gonna make it an arrow pointing down. <laughs> Menacing, but open to interpretation. The fear this will sow brings me butterflies. I am proud of you, protege. Truly, you are spooky this day. Spooky Peter leads you back into the hallway mirror, back through this weird mirror world of his. A fractal realm on the dull side of the Tain. Tain. It's a Tain. But he's it. Eventually, you reach the mirror that leads back to where you came in. Well, this is neat. Thank you for your company. This was fun. It was also weird. I am pleased. Before we return to the physical world, I should warn you. Time behaves differently in the mirror world. Sorry, I just bumped my mic. What may have felt like hours was in fact years. Oh, <laughs> a decade has passed since we began this date. I speak in jest. Oh my god, Peter. It's barely been the length of a talkie. The look of fear on your face. Spooky Peter spooked you good. He tips his hat to say goodbye. More dust falls off the plane. Guess I'll be seeing ya. Breeze picks up and the rest of the lake goes away. Sorry about that. That was great! I love that. Um, if you want me to play... Like the other three rooms, other two rooms, just let me know.